Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Prat and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for March 18th to uh, March 24th, uh, 2019 and uh, as a general reading, uh, this video is going to present you a reading that is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Aries. <clears throat> But for more personal touch, uh, meaning your personal situation to be uh, analyzed by me uh, through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you can find a full list of my services, uh, as well as their pricing, which are starting for just as little as um, $12. Basically, uh, I decided to keep the reduction of the prices for the month of uh, March as well, so as much people as possible who are in need, especially financial one, can um, actually afford me, so can become a little bit more affordable, um, <clears throat> you know, for those who doesn't have much of a budget to spend on uh, readings. So that said aside, guys, Going to the general spread here first, and uh, the first card that it is about uh, the topic of Aries this week, that is going to be the Magician card, followed by the second card, which is the things that you should not do throughout the week or how you should not take on the uh, topic here, that is to be the Queen of uh, Wands. Followed by the third card, which is uh, the how you should take on the month, uh, the uh, the weekly topic, excuse me, uh, and that is to be the two of uh, wands. And the last card that we do have that is going to be the final outcome of growth, uh, which kind of manifests itself sh itself should you follow the guidance here that Saro is presenting to you through the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands. So uh, once again, before I drop the cards down on my table and go through them one by one, we do have the Magician followed by the Queen of uh, Wands. Then it's uh, the Two of Wands and the last one that we do have that is to be the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Lovely. So it looks like uh, we do have a, a week here for you, Aries. It's a week of action that is going to start from um, an insecure uh, situation where you try to develop of something like, you, you know, a project or a task or even, you know, in a relationship and is to transcend into a, a much more stable state at the end of the week, should you once again follow the guidance that Saro has for you. So the first card here, which is the topic that is to be the magician, which asks you to exert huge amount of sovereignty and iron will in your tasks, whatever the tasks you are doing, either regarding career or relationship wise, and whatever actions you want to incorporate into your things, you know, into your projects at work, into your undertakings, enterprises, and so on and so forth, needs to be accompanied with a, a huge determination. In other words, you should not sh allow people to see that you are hesitant and that you don't know what you're doing. While uh, with this follow-up that we do have in these cards, you are to learn a, a great deal of skills as well. <clears throat> but we are going to get that, uh, we are going to get there in a minute. So with the Magician card, it, it, it does comes to that, you know, how confident you look and how confident you seem not just to, you know, exert things and to stir situations, but as well to learn and to allow yourself to expand skill and emotionally wise, depending on what kind of uh, situation you're finding yourself at. Uh, giving you a straight away an example here, you know, uh, <clears throat> let's say that you are entering into, into a new social circle. Well, this card does mean that you have to present yourself just as one is. Disregarding is pe are people gonna like you or not for whoever is to like you should like you for what you are. This is exerting personal sovereignty and showing the determination that you are going to basically shape your own personal fate rather than, you know, following the criteria and the demands of others. Additionally to that, the magician throughout the week points that your um, communicational skills and in generally the negotiation skills 
uh, are going to be very sharp for you. So you, you can use them a very um, efficiently and it is highly advisable for you to do so. You want to negotiate for yourself a promotion. You, know, you want to negotiate for yourself a, an enterprise into your social circle, you know, or new rules into your relationship or new salary. Well, then that week, it does look like a, a very, very good week um, <clears throat> that you can do so. Uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the uh, five of wands, uh, which uh, the formation is a active friends and it does mean that you can definitely alter many outcomes it is because with the five of wands many things are going to move around there are to be a lot of surprises into your relationship and into your career as well surprises from the good standpoint meaning that even if you are facing certain plights into a relationship or in, into your things at work there are going to be openings there for you to exert your capabilities and your determination once again it will require determination in order for you to stir your things through and to push your things through as well and in other words it's going to be very very dynamic week and <clears throat> with this card here it will be a good thing if you are not biased about the uh, the results that your actions are going to be breed or um, yeah the results of your actions at uh, the uh, at the finish line of the enterprise project or a relationship because as i said here there are to be a lot of surprises and if you think at the start of the week you know that one thing is helpless out there if you don't give up and you keep on trying to make it work uh, somewhere along the week there are to be those circumstances you need in order to stir the situation through so uh, going to the next card, it is how you should not take on this situation. And the Queen of Wands, it is a, a very, mm, it is confident person, but not same type of confidence as uh, with the Magician. So the Magician is confident that eventually they can push things through, while the Queen is confident that her current way is to push things through and as i said there are going to be a great deal of learning throughout the week so you are likely to discover with especially with these new circumstances appearing here and there to discover new more efficient ways you know to resolve your issues to make your project uh, product uh, productive uh, to make your relationship productive and so on and so forth therefore this card asks you to learn to let go of uh, personal established concepts, thinking that if it is not that way, there is no other way to do things, okay? So, for example, you want to buy yourself a house or a new home, if it is, if it is not this specific house, it's not, gonna be a, a, it's not gonna be a purchase at all. So it does ask you to, to discover, it does ask you to research as well, and it does ask you with this card not to once again be biased about the expectations and the results. Now, you have to be very, very sharp when it comes to especially acute business sense here or your personal business sense, and when you uh, deal with people around you as well, because the queen in this position, it does represent that you may kind of being um, once again biased about the standpoints of your colleagues or of your partner gravely misinterpreting their position and their intentions as well and it is where your communicational skills needs to kick in if something uh, it's it, it's baffling you you have to raise the question here and you gotta ask for their strategy, you know, for their goals, for their aims, and how they plan to get there, you know. And throughout that, you are too as well being capable to readopt your strategies according to the other people's strategies as well, your partner into relationship or your co-workers, colleagues into your career, and together, um, mainly you, but in the same time together you are to achieve great things what i mean is that you are to be the leader leading force here with the magician but the magician thrives best when the magician has followers and that is where you that is what you need to kind of like attend to to build up fellowship here throughout the week 
followers for your Facebook page, for example, or for your business site or for your project or for your relationship as well. The accompanied card that is to be the hangman here and the formation is active, um, active enemies. And the hangman, the shade that the hangman here adds is that if, once again, if you allow yourself to see things from a different perspective, once again, you know, that your current way may not be the most effective and or efficient way to um, achieve your goal, uh, either regarding career or relationship, you are to stir your situation big way, especially with, as I said, the new circumstances that are coming around. So uh, the way that I see things, guys, is that uh, at least at the start of the week, you know, you should take it easy and um, you should kind of like attend only to those things which are already defined in the uh, in the space and in time in sense of that you don't, th th there is nothing additional that can happen in there. Therefore, there won't be any surprises. But for example, if you are waiting for approval for a particular project, you know, or uh, if there are some um, minor details here and there which are not defined, uh, then you should not attend into them into them and until or into that project or into that relationship until you know those events which are to happen doesn't happen if that makes um, if that makes sense the uh, third card which is how you should approach the situation here that is to be the two of wands and the two of wands asks you to recognize that you have a, a good achievement until this very moment either career wise or either relationship wise that is for example you are developing your business and at that point you are finding yourself with having a good achievement business wise you know it can be better you know but it could have been worse however with the two of wands this card asks you to continue on developing exciting skills and that is why we come to this that there will be a, a great deal of learning here this card is pointing that there is like i said more efficient way for you to execute your plans career or relationship wise but the two of wands also uh, does require from you to be uh, very demanding in a sense of that regarding the quality of the results, there should be no uh, compromise whatsoever. Uh, meaning that uh, <clears throat> meaning that basically if if your enterprise it is not developed to the point that you are imagining it, uh, you should not stop there, but continue on proceeding with developing your skills until a point that your skills are allowing you, skills, knowledge, you know, or, or standpoints for that matter, are allowing you, you know, to develop your enterprise the way you want to develop it. A uh, quick example here, uh, relationship-wise, you know, things things are going good, things are going okay, but they could, could be better and you want to develop them in that way. So let's say you want to achieve a standpoint where every Friday you and your husband or your wife or your partner in general into relationship are spending time in front of the fireplace with a couple of glass of wine and so on and so forth, but always there is something on the way to do so. Well, this card asks you to be unyielding regarding the results. So that should be your focus from here to uh, to achieve every Friday night to be in front of the uh, fireplace and so on and so forth and try out different ways different maneuvers until you find the most efficient uh, way and maneuver to achieve you know that goal so this is a about the the most positive uh, quality of the two of wands that you can make things happen it just it does require a little bit more development of your behalf the accompanied card here this is going to be the eight of wands the formation is active supporters and uh, it does represent that you have to approach as well these new ways very carefully with uh, with a clear clear headed determination when it comes to action because you can rob yourself from the fruits of your labor meaning that one wrong step could really bounce you back on the start line so with these couple of cards it will be best if you analyze the situation give yourself more time to analyze the situation 
and uh, when you are a hundred percent sure that that is your way you kind of like calculate everything you meticulously or thoroughly thought through uh, every single detail then uh, you make your move and make your action because the two of wands as well is a card of responsibility in the sense of that whatever you decide to conquer further has to be a, a you need to take the responsibility of this conquest and uh, once you achieve all that uh, we do have the four of pentacles meaning that you are going to sit on established concepts, established patterns. So this card here points that at least partially you have achieved your goal. At the very least, the winning strategy or yeah, the, the winning strategy is already created. Okay, so you are going to have at least a, a firm plan how to act from now on and how to achieve the goal that you set for yourself at the start of the week. The magician is about that as well, you know. So at that point, uh, you are to take a very defensive standpoint of this undertaking, taking your relationship or your project uh, or the strategy and or, or the strategy that uh, you have already created, reassuring its foreseeable and stable future. So at that point, at the end of the week, there will be no doubt that should you follow such created plan from yourself, taking under consideration all the new formed circumstances out of the surprising events, thoroughly and meticulously um, kind of like analyzing them and sort them out into a systematic plan with a, a clear headed decisiveness and determination, you know, and in the same time, <clears throat> you are not unyielding about your approach and you recognize that there is more efficient ways to achieve certain goal than a and like i said accurate a um, strategy an accurate standpoint and or, or if you want a milestone is to be reached at the end of the week where you are to secure your future regarding this undertaking um, and the last one, uh, the last card, which is accompanied here with the Four of Pentacles, that is to be the Seven of Wands. The formation is passive neutrals. And basically the shade of this card here points that there won't be any um, challenges really and any, and, uh, any, how can I place it, any temptations from the uh, from the peripheral or exterior situations. Simply, you will know when and how to uh, react or act on a certain circumstances that are foreseen already and you know that they are to uh, happen. So pretty much you're gonna seal the deal here, guys. And just to give you a couple of quick examples, if we're talking about career here, uh, these cards could refer to a good proposition you're going to have to involve yourself into a specific project, thinking at the start that is gonna be a piece of cake, recognizing that, yeah, you can push it through, you know, but if you take a bit of time to readopt your strategies and to wait for the right moment to act, throughout this week is going to be more efficient way to, to do it therefore care, uh, carefully or patiently waiting into the shades figuratively speaking waiting for the right moment to come you seize the opportunity with a big portion of decisiveness and clear-headed mind kind of like stabilizes your uh, your position there meaning that you are to secure your future in your job and uh, talking about uh, relationships here uh, then they, these cards are pointing that it does depend are you single or not but definitely these cards are asking you to seek those who are to like you for uh, for who you are and unfortunately also they point that if you are not finding such a person that is because some of your criteria are way I could say way too high or a little bit twisted because with the Queen of Wands here, it will be a good thing if you expand on your criteria about a person who is next to you. Giving you straight away an example here, maybe for some of you, the criteria is going to be a rich person, okay? And if the person isn't rich, no matter rich, no matter how handsome they are, no matter how gentle they are, no matter how, you know, 
how compatible you are, that's just not an option available. So these cards are asking you to think of to restructure your criteria if you haven't meet, met a suitor for a, a long, long time. But generally into a relationship, this is a, a very good week where, um, where you are to consolidate your firm positions in your marriage or in, in your uh, currently existing relationship as well, creating structure and um, making a, a firm strategy how this relationship is to develop further in the future. So that being said, Erises, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, March 18th to March 24th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was a general reading for Erises star sign. But if, and you know, for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Erises. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you prediction for it for the future, uh, that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website uh, that it is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, which are starting by the way from just as little as $12. That is for a reason that I decided to keep the reduced price pricing for the uh, month of March as well. So feel free to take advantage of it. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.